Hello everyone! In this tutorial, we will learn how to define a user frame that you can see over here. So what's happening over here? The end effector point, the point over here, is moving in this plane. So we have defined a coordinate system where here is the center point, this is the origin, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, and this is the z-axis. For example, you can imagine that this is basically a laser cutter or, or the basically a robot is painting something and has to move in this plane. So this is our user frame, and we will learn how to define it. Okay, so let us learn how to define the user frame. So the first step is to click on menu, the button over here, and then you have several options that you can see over here. So, if we scroll down, we can find the option 6, setup. It's written setup over here. And then if you press the right arrow, we can select frames, option number 4. So this is how it looks. Okay, next we press enter to enter the frame menu. Now, sometimes it might happen that some other frames are being selected, for example, a tool frame. So to show you that, for example, if you click over here, you can select, for example, tool frame and then enter. Now, this is basically a menu for tool frames. And if this thing happens, that is when, if, when you press enter, actually when you press menu, setup and frames, you might obtain this. So you have to make sure that the proper frame menu is selected. That is, you can click on others and then you select here the user frame and then you press enter. Okay, now we are in the user frame. These are the frames that previous users have defined. So we see a bunch of frames. These are the user frames. So we will erase some of these frames. Let's say the frame number six. We want to erase it or we want to redefine it. We click on enter and here how it looks. So the first step is to select the method of defining the frame. That is, if you click, click over here, you can select the three-point method, and then you press Enter. So, by doing so, you have said to, basically, the robot system that you want to define a frame defined by three points. The first point is the coordinate system, origin. The second point is the point on the x-axis and the third point is the point on the y-axis and here are the points origin point x-direction point and y-direction point okay so let us first change the comment over here you can enter the comment that describes this frame so I will click on enter and then you can select uppercase letter, lowercase letter. Let's do with the uppercase letters. And okay, so since I'm using uh, the three point method to define my user frame, I need to first specify the origin of the frame. So the origin will be located over here. Now. In order to define the origin, I first need to basically jog my robot or move the end effector to this point. And then the next step is to record that point. I can do it over here. But for the time being, let us jog the robot to this position over here. So how to do that? Well, again, here is my end effector. Here is the deadman switch. In order to jog the robot, I first have to make sure that my alarms are being cleared or that my faults are being cleared. So I'm keeping, I'm pressing this button over here or deadman switch and I'm doing the following. I'm pressing shift, reset. 
So what happens here, the fault is being cleared, so I'm ready to jog my robot. Now, I need to select the jogging mode. So what will be the jogging mode? I release shift the key over here and I press the coordinates. So I will use the wor world coordinate systems. Then, the next step is of course to jog the robot. I'm keeping here shift and I will first go in the Z direction. Now, since you're close here to the surface, you have to be very careful. Good practice is to reduce the speed. Now I'm at 5%, I did that by pressing this button. Here, by going up or down, you can decrease the speed. So it always, it's a good practice when you're close to this, to the surface, to decrease the velocity. And then I will go in the basically positive direction, Z. I move away from the circle, surface. You can see here that I'm pressing Shift and Z+. Plus. Then, I will move along the Y direction. Now I can increase the speed to 50%. You see now how it's dangerous. You have to be very careful. I will move along the Z direction, actually Y direction. Then I will go a little bit in the Z direction. Then I will move in the X direction over here. Then I will decrease the speed and I will slowly approach the plane. So I'm here. Then I'll move the robot in the X direction. I will move the robot in the Y direction. And again, a little bit in the Y direction. And here's my origin, approximately over here. So, I will just slightly move my robot in the Z direction, actually the end effector point over here. And this is my point. Now, how to record that point? Well, you have to move your cursor to this point. And then you need to press Shift and Record. And it's written, new position is calculated. Okay, so the next step is to define the point on the x-axis. So, we will go over here, we'll jog over here, however you can choose any point that you want, however I will choose this point. So let us do, do that. How to do that? Again, dead man switch pressed, shift, reset go away from the surface okay in the safe position then increase the speed and then move your robot to the point that you want to define so decrease the speed pressing this button go down slowly then okay here is approximately my point so what I will do now be careful to move the cursor over here and again press shift and F5 to record okay so let us define the point on the y-axis again Clear the, clear the faults. Then, move away from the surface. Increase the speed a little bit. Then, jog the robot to the desired position. Okay, now you cannot see this, so I have to zoom out my camera a little bit and to change the direction okay so here here's the point over there decrease the speed move down Go in the positive Z a little bit.
Okay, so here's our point, right? Then scroll down and press Shift F5 to calculate and to record the position. Now our user frame is defined. Its x-axis is this one, the y-axis is given over here, and the origin is over here. Okay, so let us now see how to move in this coordinate system. Click on Previous, and here is our coordinate system, or actually our coordinate frame, or our frame. Remember this number. The number is 6. So, first move away from the surface, from the plane, by going in a positive Z direction. Now, your robot is displaced from the surface. So you can see over here there that we are in the world coordinate system. By pressing the coordinates, we will be in the user coordinate system. However, there are nine user frames. So we need to select the appropriate one. So how to do that? Well, you need to press the shift key, coordinate, and over here it's the number four. So we're in, the, we're in the number four. We don't want to be in the number four, so we will select number six. Now we're in the number six. Again, shift coordinates, shift coordinates, again, shift coordinates. You can get this menu. If you want to be, let's say, in the coordinate system number eight, you'll do shift coordinates and press here eight. However, we want to be in the coordinate system number four, so we'll press here four. Now we're in the fourth coordinate system. To verify that, don't immediately approach the surface, but try to jog the robot away from this surface or this plane. So let's reset our alarms or our faults, and then let's see what happens. Aha! Uh -huh. This should be the y-axis, so let us increase the speed. Okay, this is Y, looks relatively good. This is our X, again, this looks relatively good, right? So now we can approach the, this plane. To further verify this, we go in the minus Z direction, we are going perpendicularly to this surface, and we will decrease the speed by pressing this button over here. And let's see what happens now. Okay, so let's go in Z. Let us see, can we move along X, Y, and Z axis? So, let's move along the X axis, increase the speed. Okay, so we are moving along the X axis, very good. How about the Y axis? Here's our Y axis, perfect. And then you can move anywhere in the plane, but just specify X and Y axis. Okay. That would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I make, please subscribe or support my channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day.